Hi everyone, this is example 3 on unsteady flow. A certain reservoir with vertical sides and is evaporation free has accidentally a leak on its bottom portion. The checker observes that for exactly one day, the water surface drops 1.2 meters from elevation 6.4 meters with elevation 0 at the bottom of the reservoir. Starting from elevation 6.4 meters, determine the time it takes the water surface to drop to elevation 4.8, elevation 3.4 meters, elevation 0. So since the reservoir has vertical side, it means area S is constant, then the leak will have constant C, constant area of outlet, then everything is constant from the formula time equals 2 ash or 2 area s square root of h quantity square root of h i minus square root of h f over kao tog. And this time will give us a value in seconds. So if we want the time to be in hours, then we have to divide 3600. Since 2 area s, c, area o, square root of 2g, and 3600 are all constants, then we can make the formula into a compact form t equals k square root of hi minus square root of hf, where t is in hours. So remember, area S is constant. We just not given the information, but it is constant in this problem. C is constant. Area of outlet is also constant. The leak constant. Then this is also constant. So we can make everything constant, including the denominator, which is 3,600, to make this formula in hours. So given the information that the checker observes that for exactly one day or 24 hours, the water surface drops 1.2 meters from elevation 6.4. So meaning to say HI is 6.4 and HF is 6.4 minus 1.2. That would be 5.2. So 24 hours equals K times square root of 6.4 minus square root of 5.2. Again, 5.2 is 6.4 minus 1.2. So the constant K is 96.203. Then, we now answer this question. So time is equal to 96.203 quantity square root of 6.4 minus square root of 4.8. So for the first, 32.61 hours. For the second, time is 96.203 quantity square root of 6.4 minus square root of 3.4. So that would be 65.99 hours. And for the third question, time is square root, time is 96.203 quantity square root of 6.4 minus square root of zero. So that would be 243.4 hours. So that's it for this problem.